Hey guys, back here with another video and recently I've been getting a lot of questions about vintage t-shirts just on my Instagram, people have been asking me uh, so I'm going to show y'all uh, part of my collection and just give you guys some tips and things to look for when you're buying vintage t-shirts if you want them to wear them for yourself or even if you want to resell them so here's my collection And first here we have this uh, black Kanye West Marino Morwood t-shirt. Uh, so Marino Morwood is this guy of England and he makes uh, vintage t-shirts and he really just likes to recreate the vintage feel of uh, t-shirts from the 90s. And pretty much they're all like this type of print and the screen print of them is really, really high quality. Uh, so here we have Kanye with Horace uh, Shane I used to have on the My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy days and right here we just have the um, I dreamt about this back in Chicago in the back and here we have the St. Pablo tour just the stage floating and honestly the screen printing quality on this t-shirt is insane Marino also uses like proprietary banks so he drops these t-shirts right now like he usually I don't know how often he drops them but uh, here's his tag and it's a single stitch blank and I really don't know what blank he uses I'm pretty sure it's proprietary and it's pretty like it's pretty great like quality is pretty insane so next t-shirt so here we have it's another one by Marino. It's the same blank, same everything. This is Tupac. Uh, so basically, we just have the square print of Tupac right here. It's a lot of like colors going on. It's a very, it's a very nice print. Plus, you can even see his tattoos. Like it's, it's pretty crazy how you did that. Like I really don't know how many screens you would need to print that, and it baffles me. Like every time, I'm just like, wow. Bro, you snapped. Uh, so the bag is even more crazier. And he got this Versace belt. If anybody's selling a Versace belt like this from like back in the 90s, I'm looking for one. Uh, so hit the kid up. So next t-shirt, here we have another one with Marino. Is this Kodak black t-shirt. Screen print on this one is crazy too. Here we have you know, this various forms of Kodak. And right here we have them, uh, I think this is the Tunnel Vision video, and right here we got the Sniper Gang Shane, I really love the Sniper Gang Shane detail. And, and the the letters, if you can see, they are, I'm pretty sure, like a $100 bill or something like that. This is, the detail is crazy for a t-shirt that's actually screen printed. And here's the back, I think the back is pretty epic. Uh, this has Kodak with the praying hands, and just remember... Free Kodak. Uh, so, yeah, this that t shirt. Going to the next one. So, there's another Marino T. <laughs> and here we got Chief Keef. This is actually one of the first shirts he dropped, but he actually restocked it with the newer blank uh, somewhat sometime back in like, it was close to like Black Friday last year. So, I copped it on the restock and it just has. Chief Keef, and that's the world, and it says, uh, she says she loved me, whatever that is. Back from, you know, that classic song, Safe That Shit, that we all loved back in high school. And, uh, this has the tag right here, it doesn't really have a print on the back, but I really like this t-shirt, like, I wear this t-shirt a lot. Uh, okay, so this next t-shirt is actually real vintage, <laughs> so... Uh, we got here this Freddy vs. Jason t-shirt is probably from the 2000s because it's not single stitched It's a double stitch and I got this from my friend Rogelio. Uh, he has a shop on Instagram It's uh, Lost Vintage Apparel, you know, just hit him up if you want to get something and I don't know, it's just a real like wearable t-shirt. It's very like, you know Like it's it's definitely has some age to it like it's lost color over the years But it's a very flowy very like wearable t-shirt. It's very good for like layering and stuff uh, so I enjoy this t-shirt and it's just comfortable uh, so yes 
It says, uh, see you in hell in the back, and it has, like, some type of Planet Hollywood something right here in the back. So, you know, it's just an enjoyable shirt to wear. Uh, next t-shirt, here we got the, this is probably my favorite Merino shirt. Uh, it's the 50 Cent. The print in the front of this is insane. I actually think the print in this is better than the original uh, actual like Get Rich or That Trying merch, which is just the album cover. This actually has like just you got 50, you got right here this South Side. Uh, the letters are starting to crack a little bit because I've watched it a few times. And right here in the back, you got uh, Get Rich or That Trying with the, with the track list of the album. And right here on the, the left bottom of the shirt, you got Many Men Wish Death Upon Me which is, you know, cool. It's a very cool song. Uh, but yeah, now coming to the last of the black t-shirts. This is probably the most expensive black vintage t-shirt I own. And it's this 1994 iced tea t-shirt, uh, The Return of the Real. Uh, actually, I got this from Memory Lane, from Chris from Memory Lane. So shout out Chris, Chris Moot. Uh, thank you so much for selling me this t-shirt for a very good price. Uh, so really it just has this print right here and iced tea it's a winterland uh it's a winterland blank and it's also single stitched so this shirt is very rare i've never really seen one like it and every time i find something similar to it i see it go for like a stupid ridiculous price on like grail or ebay so that's it with the black t-shirts and we're going to get into the white ones right now. Okay, so now we're going to go on with the white t-shirts and this first one right here is another Merino tee. And this is the Frank Ocean one. Uh, Maya got this for me for my birthday. It just says Boys Don't Cry in the back. It's the same quality as the rest. It's just the blank is white. And this is actually a medium. The rest of them are a large. Uh, and the print on this is real good. Like, it's very, like, it's very detailed. And it's just got like a white Ferrari in the back. So this is a cool shirt. Uh, I like it a lot. And this next one right here, I got this from round two in Miami when I was at Rolling Loud. And it's just like a Hong Kong t-shirt. It's just Hong Kong. But what really sold me in this t-shirt, like the blank quality on this t-shirt is insane, you guys. It's a single stitch and the blank feels a lot like a human made blank. And the print is very just, it has that Asia like colorful like vibe like it's not very vibrant like in the actual rap t-shirts it's just like a souvenir t-shirt but i like it a lot just because the fit is real nice too and it just goes with a lot of things especially for the summer uh so next t-shirt this one is not actual vintage but i've got it i've had it for a long time and most people think that it's really an old t-shirt, it's really not. This is from Strange Ways NYC. Uh, and you can see it's double stitch because it's a blank. But actually, Strange Ways, I don't think they exist anymore because I've been looking for more of these and I can't find them. I got this from like Need Supply, uh, I want to say like a year and a half ago or something like that. And it just has more of the in the front with some uh, flowers and... In the bag it says Morris Mar and it has uh it just has their signatures and it's just Morrissey looking at the TV. And I mean I wear this t-shirt a lot, it's definitely one of my favorite t-shirts. You can ask my friends. I probably overwear it. Uh but I like it a lot. And it's a white t-shirt, it goes with a lot of stuff. One thing I gotta complain about is like it's a large. I usually get a large in t-shirts because I'm kinda tall. Uh but this blank is actually longer than most other vintage blanks so i probably could have done a medium would have fit better but i mean i already own it uh this one right here is a real cool one i got this from grailed actually for a very low price so shout out to the guy that sold this to me it wasn't very bad condition but i had to uh do the five for one method on it and it looks great now so it just has uh, the Bad Religion in the front uh, and says the easiest thing to say is fuck you, which is, it speaks to me, I guess. 
so Bad Religion is a real cool uh, punk band from back in the G. And I don't know, I'm not gonna claim that I listen to the music like every day or like I'm the biggest fan ever, but I really just like the imagery. Plus, uh, since I got this t-shirt, I've seen a lot of people wear the same t-shirt, so the prices on them are a little bit high right now. Uh, but I don't think I'm selling it. I wear that t-shirt too much too. Uh, and this is going to be the last one. I got this one in Atlanta this last time I went from my guy Michael at Sad Buy Supply. He works at uh, Drugstore ATL. It's this store in Little Five Points. So if you're from the Atlanta area, you know, check them out. And they're a real cool little business. So it's just this Safe Sex uh, t-shirt. It's from the 90s. I'm pretty sure it's from like... He said it was from like 96. And... Right here has the, it's a single stitch. And right here it has, it says Florida with mosquito. And I, I don't know, I just appreciate that. Uh, it's a Fruit of the Loom blank. Uh, so it just has the mosquito in the front. And right here it just says, let's get ugly. So I really like how they did the colors on this. Like it's pretty, it's matched pretty well. Uh, this one also fits kind of long for a large. But I really like it. I've worn it a few times already. So, yeah, that's all the t-shirts. I'm gonna just hit you guys with some outfit videos and I'll be back. Fun, I got too many bands. I saw my wrist, I'm the real snowman. He am a rapper, but I'm not a fan. Blueprint, yeah, I got the plan. Chop I brought with me, got a good girl. Smoking on woods, you smoking on wood too. Hey, R15, give him a facelift. Still busting jugs on lift. He wanna flip, slam me, get a membership. and things I look for when buying a t-shirt. I mostly care just about the print, uh, but most people really look for the single stitch shirts when they're looking for uh, vintage t-shirts. And I do like the single stitch shirts better than the double stitch, but it doesn't matter too much to me. Like what I'm really looking for, if the print really speaks to me, that's probably a shirt that I'm gonna purchase. Uh, so, I mean, I really just encourage you all to just go out and venture and fill out things, look at what you like. You can actually just type certain blanks. You can type like Haynes Beefy or like, or like Winterland or Old Delta blanks. And you might find some t-shirts that like nobody's ever seen before. They don't necessarily have to be artist t-shirts. You can go on eBay. eBay is a really good place to look for actual vintage t-shirts. And then, you know, I care about the print. That's why I'll buy, I always buy something like... A Marino Morewood t-shirt just because I know how much effort he's putting into actually putting out that uh, feel of a shirt even though it's a newer shirt he wants to recreate something that's happened before and I, I mean I just appreciate that bootleg black man so Marino if you're watching this video man just send me more t-shirts I buy a lot of them so that's all the content for today guys don't forget to like subscribe comment Turn point notifications on. I really just plan on dropping more videos throughout the summer and probably just for eternity. Uh, so if you're interested in that, definitely check me out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at gjcampos98. You know, I usually just post outfits and just me doing cool stuff around town. And I think that's it. I think we're out. So you guys have a good day. You know. Keep doing what you're doing and be awesome.